Meet the Press video podcast. Get the number one Sunday morning news show anytime, anywhere, free. Podcasts.msnbc.com. Good morning. Still strong, the dangerous weather system that led to damage like this. The collapse of the Dallas Cowboys practice facility is set to hit states further east today. Overblown, although it's now confirmed in 35 U.S. states, is the global swine flu outbreak not as bad as everyone first thought? This morning, we'll ask the CDC's acting director. And fast forward, a new computer-generated image of Madeleine McCann, the British girl snatched from a hotel room in Portugal two years ago, shows what she might look like now. And investigators are hoping it will help solve the mystery of her disappearance today, Monday, May 4th, 2009. From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning. Welcome to Today on a Monday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. And I'm Ann Curry. And for Meredith, this morning's on assignment. It was a nasty weekend, parts of the south especially, and there could be more bad weather on the way as the system moves east, Matt. That's right. Heavy rains, high winds expected today in places like Virginia, in the Carolinas, and Mississippi. This is part of the same system, as Ann just mentioned, that impacted states further west and south over the weekend, including at least one reported tornado in Alabama. Al's going to have the latest on this with his forecast in just a couple of minutes. Also ahead this morning, Matt, Casey Anthony's defense team plans to ask a judge today to move her high-profile murder case out of Central Florida. And this morning, they also say there is evidence to support Casey's claim that she did not kill her daughter. We're going to talk to one of Casey Anthony's attorneys about that this morning. And a little later on in our program, we're going to talk about a growing scam. Now, you could become the victim of this if you're in the market for a used car. In some cases, the car you think is legitimate could actually be stolen. You may never know that that until the police show up to reclaim it. We'll tell you more about that. But first, let's get right to that severe weather in the south. Al's been tracking the storms, out. Well, it's been a rough weekend. At least 20 tornadoes reported over the weekend through the Mid Plains in the south. We're talking about the latest weather, Matt. All right, Al, thanks very much. And now to what some are calling an unlikely alliance. During the presidential campaign, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton were fierce adversaries. But despite that bitter campaign, Clinton is proving to be a key asset to Team Obama as Secretary of State. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has more on that. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning. Matt. Well, it did seem at the time to be a risky choice, President Obama's decision to name Hillary Clinton as his Secretary of State. But so far, it looks like there, that uh, controversial decision is paying off, and the two former rivals have formed a real bond. Where in the world, where in the world, where in the world is Hillary Clinton? circling the globe more than 72,000 miles in just the first 100 days. But now as Barack Obama's envoy and confidant, speaking for him and his policy, not her own. I bring greetings from President Obama on behalf of President Obama. It's from President Obama. White House officials say the feeling is mutual. I've given you an early gift, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Gone is the anger of the primaries. Shame on you, Barack Obama. Their foreign policy differences, that's yesterday. Today, she's playing for his team. President Obama won the election. He beat me in a primary in which he put forth a different approach. And he is now our president, and we all want our president, no matter of which party, to succeed. Remember how she once said he was too inexperienced to be president? Not anymore. Whatever their uh, struggles were during the course of the presidential nominating fight, I think those are long past, and I think people are working together effectively uh, and uh, working together well as a team. What does he get? A foreign policy superstar attracting more attention for his message. He's got a very powerful point person for his argument that he wants diplomacy to have a greater stake in the world. And he couldn't have found a more powerful person than Hillary for that. And he, more than anyone, knows she is tough, undaunted by challenges on every continent. As for all those critics who said it wouldn't work, especially because of the ex-president, even he has gotten out of her way. Former President Clinton has been strangely silent these last three or four months, which is all to the good. Clearing the stage for his wife in the role of a lifetime. She seems more vibrant, more alive, loving the job. You, felt, you feel that when you watch her out there. She seems relaxed. She seems to really be enjoying herself, as does he. <laughs> 
And that's not to say that there aren't real problems, most notably right now Pakistan. They're really concerned about the safety of uh, Pakistan's nuclear weapons supply. But that said, she does seem to be enjoying her job, and that's reflected in her popularity. Right now, the highest approval ratings of any time in her career. So, at least for now, being a team player seems to have its own rewards. Matt? All right, Andrea, thank you very much. Andrea Mitchell in Washington this morning. It's now 15 after the hour. Here's Ann.